So a year ago, I made a video about how to use a chess.com API using Python. So today I'm going to be using JavaScript to query data. So the way how you do it is that you go to this link. I'll leave it in the description, but it's a link with this title, Publish Data API on chess.com's website. It's an announcement for some reason. And yeah, I'm going to teach you how to you know get data so you scroll all the way down or there's a table of contents so let's go to player data profile so let's say i want to get info on a player based on their username so in javascript you have a thing called fetch let me show you how you can do it so uh ignore the variables what you can do is that you can do fetch double quotes and then just copy this thing right here paste and then where you have username in the script with the um curly brackets just put in a username so i'm gonna put in mine like that all right and then i'm gonna do that then and when i get a parameter i'm gonna call it rest for response equal and the greater than sign because this is a callback fun function. I'm gonna do dot JSON to convert it into JSON, then another dot then method, and this is where we're going to output the data. So I'm gonna put data, and I'm gonna do the data on a console of the data, semicolon, save. So if we go to our file, and we inspect and we go to console there it is right there object and there's the data id avatar country everything uh username right there whatever so let's say you want to just get followers you want to follow us off so you do right here data dot followers save and gives us five if you want to get the username, then do dot username. There we go. All right. So uh, let's see. What else could we do? All right. One of the things you can do is get player stats as well. So when you do my name slash stats, and then console log data to see the JSON, see what data we can get, and it gives me all of this so blitz rating uh rapid feed a puzzle rush tactics so let's say i want to get my rapid rating so chess underscore rapid and then the current one is would be last that'll be it and then best means your highest rating so inside last that's another object with rating so it'd be chess underscore rapid dot last dot rating so data dot chess underscore rapid dot last dot rating and gives us 838 beautiful yeah you can do this for anyone so if you want to let's see do hikaru i can also do that and as you can see it gives me everything on hikaru his rapid rating his current one best and his rapid um win loss draw record right there so anyway that's what you can do but let's say we want to be able to do something like this where you can type in username and then you search displays data all right that's where things can get creative so I have this function right here let me do that all you do create a function and then when you get um wait before we get fetch create a variable called thing called rest get the fetch copy paste this time i'm just gonna i just want username information for now cons this one can be called data turn the result into a json uh and then just console log data like that and then yeah can remove that and then just add an event listener to a button Right, um, you'll create a button right here, 
add, a, add an event listener with a click event and then um, the name of the function. So what we, we do now is that if we click in spec actually, so in the console, we can click search, it gives us, oh, actually, oops, I forgot this. What you need to do is that if it's an arrow function, you do async, just like that. Um, if it's like a regular function, then I think it would be, yeah, you do async in front right there. And then where we have response, we do await. And then where we have data right here, same thing, await, save. So if you click search, now it works. But like I said, we want to be able to input username, get data. So what we're going to do now is that I want to do this thing. So where we have these double quotes right here, I'm going to do a back tick like that. And then where we'd normally have username, I want to do dollar sign, two curly braces. And then what I want you to do is to get a HTML tag or an input tag, it's an ID, and then get it in a variable. So in this case, user input. And then I want to do user input dot value right there. And then we need a place to display it. So I created a div with an ID of display data. And I'm gonna do display data dot inner HTML data dot username for now. Yeah, so that's how it works. So if you just click search, we're not gonna get anything because it's empty. Uh, actually to solve that, let's solve that real quick. If user input dot value strictly equal to nothing, return simple. So that way when you click, it turns nothing. Great. So we can do my username and if we click search, there it is right there. I think in the API you also have avatar. So that's cool, but so let's make like a quick little program with it. So let me see if I remember how this went. So in here, I'm going to add h1. I'm going to do, just because I don't want to review my real name, even though it's probably out there. Um, let's do data dot username. Let's also do, you can actually get the avatar. I think that's um, data dot avatar uh hotels yeah i think that's it really so if i type in let's let's do hikaru search there we go if we do my username there we go so yeah that's how it works i want to see what else but yeah you can you can just mess around with the api really there's so many other you can also get um you can get a list of users based on your title. So I have, it will be pub.title slash abrev. All right, so let's get all of the grandmasters. So if I do, I was gonna do GM. Oh, the only issue is that um, since it will be empty, it won't work. So I'm gonna comment this out for now. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna also, I'm gonna comment this out for now as well. And then uh, this should be pub.title slash so, Kai told. All right, inspect console. If we click search, there we go, it gives us the array. So, players and a whole lot of them. So, so if you want to get an individual player, we we'll have to access the array. So, all we do, we do data. Want like, let's say the 100 players, so it'd be like 101. I think, wait, what do you No, it'd be 90. Nine because it starts from zero. If you click on find, oh, because it's I think it's player, so dot players. I think that should work. Yeah, there you go. This guy. So, what if we want to display all of them now? <sighs> that's gonna be a thing. All right, all right. If we do data dot players and click search, 
Oh, Christ, it actually does. Jesus, God. Freak. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, this is all of them right here. Jesus, God. Yeah, Hikaru one. Jesus, God. That's a lot. And then, all we can do is, I think we can do a bit of a player's that map. Players, um, and then players, I guess, players, and then add a break tag in between, I guess, search, ah, I'm a genius, and then all this join, no, join, ah, there you go, see ya of a whole list of them right there so I search we'll get all of the grandmasters forms the females search get all of them whatever that's how it works but yeah that's not how you just get the data there's so many thinking also the puzzles i'm going to look into that yeah daily puzzle so that would be dot pub dot puzzle so let's try that so slash pub slash puzzle uh and then data save and then if we search oh it's true well all right look, let's look at inspect console great um png and right here i think is actually the result for the daily puzzle yeah right there f5 queen yeah that's the result wait let me see if it actually works though so it says f5 so where's f5 f5 yep that works bishop takes g4 check so bishop takes g4 so this oh it works that's great so i think that would be dot pgn dot PGN. Yeah, here's the result right there. So, so that means you can display a PGN. Yeah, right there. And there's the result. Like, I don't know what this all of this is, but yeah, that's the result right there. Pretty cool. Pretty pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know what else to show you. Um, I'll leave you guys to it. So you can mess around with the API, build your own thing. It's read only, but I think it's pretty cool. So let me know what you think about it. Peace.